Hi everyone, it's me Katrina from Katrina's Crochet World. Today I am going to teach you how to do the butterfly wing stitch. So before we get started, I am going to be using, let me just move my camera up a little bit, the Craft Smart Value Multi <clears throat> 252 yard, or, yeah, 252 yards, 5 ounces, 231 meters, 141 grams. Recommends a five millimeter crochet hook in the color peach tree, and it's a medium for weight. Okay, so to get started, you're going to chain a multiple of 12 plus three, and then one for the foundation chain. So I'm using my five millimeter crochet hook. So we are going to chain a multiple of 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you're just going to keep doing 12 until you get to the length you want. And then when you get to the length you want, you're going to chain another three more. So one, two, three, and then you're going to chain one for the foundation chain. So we're going to do one double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So this chain on the hook does not count. So one, two, and we're going to do one double crochet. And then one double crochet in each of the next three chains. So one, two, and three. Then we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then we're going to skip seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And in the eighth stitch, we're going to do one double crochet in the next five chains. So yarn over your hook in the eighth stitch, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to do that in the next five chains. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And then you're going to repeat all the way across. So you're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then skip seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and in the eighth one, we're going to do one double crochet in the next five chains. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and you do that five times in each of the next five chains. Two, three, four, and five. 
Then we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then skip seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the eighth chain, one double crochet in the next five stitches. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's three. four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you're going to have one, two, three, four stitches left. So in those four chains, you're going to do one double crochet in the last four chains. Is not so you got a chain seven. Forgot to do that. Then skip seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the eighth chain, double crochet. It's like that didn't look right. And you'll always end with four double crochets at the beginning and four double crochets at the end. So when you get to the end, we're going to chain one and turn our work. That's what it's going to look like so far. So we're going to do one double crochet in each of the first four chains. So you have one, two, three, and four. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one. Two, three, four. Then we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to skip this chain. And we're going to jump over here to the five double crochets and do five double crochets in each of the next five chains. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's one. Two. Three, four, and five. Then we're going to chain seven. We're going to skip this chain of seven. And jump over to these five double crochets and do five double crochets in each of the next five stitches. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one, two, 
to three, four, five, chain seven. Skip these seven chains and again over to the next five stitches and one double crochet in each of the next five chains or next five stitches. Chain seven, skip the chain seven and one double crochet in the next four stitches. There's one, two, three, and when you get to the end here. You're just going to look for that V shape there and insert your hook and do a double crochet. Chain one and turn your work. So rows one and two, you're going to repeat it four times. You're going to make sure you have four of these. So I'm going to continue this until I get these four and I will show you what to do next. Okay, so I'm on my last row of doing these. So again, one double crochet in the first four stitches. Chain seven, double crochet in the next five stitches, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one. Two. Three, four, and five. Always after doing those five double crochets, you're going to chain seven when you are doing these. Then skip the chain seven, go over and do one double crochet in the next five stitches. Chain seven, skip the chain seven and jump over to the five double crochets, one double crochet in the next five stitches. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and you do that five times. Chain seven, one double crochet in the next four chains. Sorry, next four stitches. It's two, three, four. Oops.
and we're going to chain one. Now, as you can see, you've got one, two, three, four, five. So these are the only four that we're going to do this with. So the beginning is normal. We're going to do one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. One, two, three, four, Now we're going to yarn over. We're going to go down to the fourth one right here. We're going to go in, pull that loop up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's what holds those together. Sorry about that. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to slip stitch in the chain seven, three rows below. So one, two, three. So we're going to go under, pull that up. Oops maybe a little hard and then slip stitch you can do the double crochet if you'd like then we're going to chain three one two three and then one double in the next five stitches one two, three, four, five. Chain three, one, two, three. And we're going to go through all these. Go under. Pull that yarn through and slip stitch. Chain three. And as you can see how it's turning out, how it makes it look like the butterfly wing stitch. And then one double crochet in the next five stitches. chain three and this is the only time you do this specific stitch is when you're putting these together so you're going to go under all four of those chain sevens pull that loop up and try not to make it too too tight and then slip stitch chain three And you can kind of fix it up as you go. And then one double crochet in the next five stitches. Chain three. And these four chain sevens, you're going to go down to the fourth one. Pull that loop up. And then slip stitch. Chain three. 
then one double crochet in the last four stitches. So one, two, three, then four, chain one and turn our work. And then we're just going to repeat like we did to make these. So we're going to do one double crochet in the first four stitches. One, two, three, four, and then we're going to start all over again by chaining seven. Skip over that and one double crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five, chain seven, One double crochet in the next five stitches. And you're going to do this four times so that you can get four of these. So repeat this until you get the four and I will show you what to do next. Okay, so I'm at the end here and we're going to chain one and turn our work. Then we're going to do one double crochet in the next four stitches, so again every time we go to put these two, these four together we're going to chain three, and then we're going to do a slip stitch, go under that fourth one, Pull that chain up and slip stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, and then one double crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three. four, five, chain three, and then we're going to go under here in the fourth chain seven, grab that loop, pull it up, and then slip stitch, and chain three. One double crochet in the next five stitches. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And do that five times. Chain three. And then you got the four chain sevens, you're going to go over, go under the fourth one, pull up a loop, and then slip stitch, chain three, one double in the next five chains. Chain three, under the seven, pull up a loop, and slip stitch. 
chain three. And then one double in the next four stitches. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's one. two, three, and if you're not sure about the end one, you look at the top and there's the V, and you just go in between both those. And then you just repeat. And that is what the stitch, the butterfly wing stitch looks like. It's a very pretty pattern. I think it'd make a great top or anything you want to turn it into. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and hit the join button if you'd like to become a member of my channel. And hit the no notification bar or the uh, notification bell and you will get notified anytime I upload a video or a tutorial. Um, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Take care, be safe, and happy crocheting. Bye, everyone.